Hey, you guys, what's going on? Yes, it. I'm recording again because I didn't like my first recording. It's like I'm all over the place. But forgive your girl. It is 723, actually, and it is 73 degrees outside. What did I say? 7, 723 a.m., 73 degrees outside. Yes, so I'm just going to basically get in the topic. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm losing my edges. So if you all know some treatments that I can do. That's why I have my hair pulled back. I think for a moment, I'm just going to be wearing a ponytail, give my my edges a break, you know, and everything else. Because I'm like the cones we break up my hair out with them wigs and stuff. So it's just like, baby, I got to save my real hair. I can always buy fake hair, but I got to restore my hair. So anyways, oh yeah, have y'all ever, this just, you know what, I'm, I'm just going to be off the grid what well, is that the right thing to say yeah because i don't have like a certain topic to talk about i'm just excited to really just come back to youtube um and just share some things with you guys like i said if y'all have things that y'all want to share let me know and everything so um what did i want to say i wanted to say something about yeah hair this is what I notice it, with a woman cause her hair is like a sign of a sense of it's a feeling of like release. Like you released some type of new energy or something. I don't know what that's about, but yeah, I had an experience. I was in a relationship and in this particular relationship, I was in it to win it, you guys. And he was a narcissist, okay? So, I'm a Virgo. You know, I try to give you a little patience. You know, I try to give you some, you know, I'm patient. I will try to give you some time. I'm going to still fill it out. So, when I make my final decision, it's a wrap for me. So, we were in silence. It wasn't a breakup, but there was silence between us. So I was just like, you know what? I'm going to cut him off. And so by me cutting him off, I was in a process of getting my hair done because I was having a birthday, a surprise birthday party. And my hair was just so just, it's natural and it's thick. So I just got tired because of the tangles and it's just like, it was mad. It was just so much going on. Y'all, my hair was like, right here it probably was longer than that because that's the shrinkage the i say shrinkage yeah the shrinkage it was like right here so flat iron it would have been longer so but i never would flat on it i just know right here and i just cut it and it just felt like a new energy i don't know what that's about you know, I was talking to my cousins about it because they cut the hair. They was like, it do, it release a whole new energy. And I promise y'all, it's crazy. But that was the moment I had released it. And I had detached myself of the emotions because I was like really going through and everything else and stuff like that. But when I cut that hair, I cut him off. And I, I felt like to cut him off with the energy how I was feeling. And you know what? Like me and him, like I said, we was in silence. We wasn't even talking probably like for two and a half weeks. And all of a sudden, that particular day when I cut my hair, I kid you not, he ended up calling me. And I'm like, now see, when I try to get rid of you and, you know, but that's just, that's just one of the things. And I understand that about energy. And I know that, I noticed that about manifestation. When you're wondering like, Oh, why is this not coming in quick? Because your mind is on it. Your mind is constantly on it. And it's like you're not trusting in the universe to do what it's supposed to do. It's like if you believe in God, whatever. Some people like to say, universe, I don't want to get into all of that. But I know that when I look at the universe, I look at the universe as the atmosphere. You know? Like they say, God is omnipresent. He's omnipotent. He's everywhere. You know, these are things that are in our universe, you know, our atmosphere. So what I noticed, and I know you've experienced this, when it's something you're not even thinking about, like, oh, you know what? Not not to say 
perhaps thinking about, but that you put so much energy into it. It's like, you probably be like, you know what, today, somebody going to buy me a milkshake. And you don't think nothing else about it. Now, all of a sudden, somebody like, you know what? I was thinking about you. I got me a milkshake. I bought you one, too. You know, it's weird things that happen. You know, like, one time, I, I was like, you know, I, I was going home. And I was like, you know what? And these cats, because I, I had cats in my apartments. So, I was like, you know what? It would be really funny if all them cats be at my door. It was over seven cats. And let me tell you something. I am terrified of animals, okay? And I'm trying to get out of that. And um, Dad was like, now, why would that happen instead of a bag of money? You know, whatever. Because I didn't put too much thought in it. I just put it out there. But I, I didn't put all my energy into it. And so, I just know when you're trying to manifest um, what you want, you know, get clear about it. Get very, very clear exactly what you want and if you're not for sure play around with it and another thing is that once you get clear let me tell you something if you're not for sure this is what you do the universe have a way of if you kind of know what you want or uh, some like that then it's gonna some like kind of give you what you putting out there but if you're actually precise about exactly get pre get down to not say so much of specifics of the details but pretty much put out there like if think about it like sometimes i'll be like i get so caught up in my head of things and it's hard for me to manifest because i'm so far in my head so i think like what well, if you order pizza you know exactly how to order you're not gonna be like mm, i think i want onions i think i want green onions i think i want pineapples i think i want maybe some pepperoni it's gonna give me that but if i say hey you know what i want me lovers pizza with some extra bacon or whatever that i may put on that i'm gonna get exactly that so i just want to say just get clear exactly what you want uh no matter what reality is bringing you right now just know you will get what you want all you have to do is get a clear mind exactly what you want and start visualizing and if you my best thing is and i learned this technique and i liked it I was like focusing on the lemon. Like if I want to get focused on something, visualize, and I'm not for sure, I'm all in my head. I start visualizing images like a lemon. What do you a lemon taste like? What does it feel like and everything? So I feel like now what I prepare to do, I just heard this exercise on YouTube. It was like you